All right, we've got it. Yay. We'll see if this works. Okay, this is like the test class for a live stream. All right, we're going to do the Howling Wolf Silhouette. Fantastic. So I'm going to use my one inch wash brush. I know it's already got yellow paint. Sorry. And my half inch wash brush. You can use whatever you want, but these are my favorites. So I've got a 16 by 20 canvas and I think we're ready to write. Okay. Let me grab a little bit of white. Good. So, and this little guy, my legs are going to be black and we'll do that in a little bit. But I'm going to take my yellow and this is a chrome yellow mixed with a tiny bit of white, but a straight chrome yellow and then just scoop a little bit of white will be fine. So I'm gonna come in and do this sort of number where I kind of just cut off the legs there, okay? Cut off the legs and then I'm gonna move my paint in this way and it's fine. I got out of the lines a little bit so if you need to grab a paper towel and just see if you can lift it off. Good, good. Let's see if we can move that just a little higher. Good. All right, so I'm just popping this in. Like I said, grab a little white, pop it in. And then I'm gonna come right to where the bottom is here. Just give myself a little light line. That, can you see that on there okay? So I'm gonna pop that in. Getting that in. And all of my motions are sweepy, just nice and sweepy. Okay. So on my palette, I'm gonna grab a little yellow and I'm gonna grab some peach now. And I'm gonna pop that in here. Get it in. And then I'm going to gently come and soften this area. You could do it with a finger. You can just do it gently like this. Throw it in. And I'm going to wipe off my brush. And I'm going to grab a little bit of peach. Just for a nice pure peach color there. I'm just gonna stop. And you can always take paper towel, your finger, and soften if you want to. Okay. Now I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna grab my purple lake, and I'm gonna put it above, right here-ish, and then soften that in. And for me, I don't want a hard line there. So I'm gonna wipe my brush off. Don't scrub, just wipe it off. Put your brush half on the dark and half on the light. Just start to move that across. Good. And then again, I'm gonna soften with my finger because I love finger painting. I just love it. Okay. Dirty brush, phthalo blue. And I want to start moving this in. So I'm just going to make a nice swoopy line. Nice swoopy line over here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing where I just wipe it off. 
soften between those two. And I like nice, smooth strokes, but you can be choppy if you want. There we go. And I'm going up. <clears throat> Taking this guy. Some nice blue. Just throwing that color in. All right, now on the top here, I wanna come in with a little bit of phthalo blue and a little black. That might be a bit much black, that's okay. And I wanna shimmy this right in here. And feel free, turn this around if you need to. See if you can get a close up of that where Trying to pull that in. Okay. And then soften that. Kind of, I'm doing some sweepy motions. Sweepy, sweepy. Oh, it's just fun. Woo! It's gonna be so fun. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can pop this up just a little bit. I think it's as high as it's gonna go. All right, so down here, I'm gonna give this a minute to dry and I'm gonna put in my feet. So I'm using my dirty brush still. You can clean it if you want to, but I don't because I like like how all of the swirly colors start to happen. And I'm just gonna, throw this in there. You can outline first if you want to. Okay. Woo. Well, he just got bigger feet. Cool. Okay. All right. I'm going to pop, I think I'm going to make this an angle. I think that'll be a little bit more fun. Put that right in there. Okay, throw that in there, it's kind of right across. Now, if you want, you can use a smaller brush for that. And because this line is going to be the ground, I'm just going to make it shaggy. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. And if you want, you could always bring this up a little bit. Maybe I will. Just up a little bit. I think I'm going to give it a dark line right there. That's up to you. How far you come up is up to you. And then I got to do is put. So, see what else we got here that we need to do. Now, this is still pretty wet. If you want to, this is, this is becoming dry. So, if you want to, while we're waiting for this, to dry, we can add more color here if you feel it's necessary. So come in with a little bit of color if you want. You can start making, now I'm kind of shuffling, a little shuffle action there. And moving that up and down just to give it a more more of an interest don't scrub it's a sweeping with the brush horizontal okay so i hope you can see that where just to give it some more interest a little more texture Good. No gloopies. And I would like a little more purple. So I'm going to come in. wipe off my brush because I have too much paint and then just sweep some of that in. So pretty. Maybe a touch more peach because I seem to have lost some of that. Okay. There we go. I like it. I would like just a few more bits of white in here, though. You don't have to go this far. I just think it's fun. Okay. Good, good. So up here, I'm still not quite dry, but that's okay. I kind of want to decide where my moon is going to be. So originally I did the moon up here, kind of in this spot, but it looked like a big eye and I didn't like it. It was actually, it wasn't, it wasn't becoming. Okay. So, um, I 
like the moon somewhere down here, a little bit lower, somewhere around uh, his chest. So I think that's where I'm going to put it. You could totally do a crescent moon, and I'll show you how to do that. Or you could do a full moon, whatever you want. Okay. So for the moon, I'm just going to grab some white. And my brush is a little bit dirty. That's okay. Now, if I want to do a full moon, I'm going to lay it in. If you want to do a crescent moon, you're going to do most of a circle and then fill that in with the brush. I hope that makes sense. Something like that. But because it's a howling moon, I think it's important to just go ahead and do, well, I don't think it's important, but I'm going to do a full moon. There we go. Okay. So clouds. Ooh, it's like my favorite part. So with clouds, remember that in this painting, we're going to sort of circle the moon a little bit. And uh, clouds are never like in a straight line if you can help it. There are two ways we could do clouds. Actually, I'll show you two. One is to take a color like this, whatever you've got, and start making rings. And you can kind of see that. And it's beautiful. It looks really, really good. But what I would like to do is come in. Let's see, I'm going to soften this just a little bit. OK. So I'm going to make sure that my brush is fairly dry again. Do, 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 do. I'm grabbing white and I want to stair step it. So there's like a stair there, a stair there, maybe one down here. And I'm going to keep this line fairly clean on the side of the moon and then i'm gonna just kind of empty that out is that what i want to do Let's see so again like maybe i come in and do that sort of thing so i'm going to soften away from the moon maybe highlight like that. Does that make sense? Can you see that okay? Okay. So I'm going to come in here. Ah, not like that. And then maybe I come in this way, soften up on the top. And if you're getting too close to the edge, wipe off your brush and pull it out. Okay, now let's see. So you could just do this sort of thing. And then maybe up here, you do something similar. Okay. 
And then maybe you start to do something like this, where you take a little of that blue so that it's a little lighter but not so bright. And we just start to swing this in. And you could even go, I don't know, if you want, you could put some teal. Just play around. Just play around and see what works. Okay, it's super fun. Ah, so fun. All right. For the moon, I really like how the moon turned out, so I'm not going to do too much to it. Something like that. Maybe a touch of that yellow. And then I'm just going to add little bits of yellow, but you actually don't even have to do this. Really unnecessary. But it's kind of fun. And then if you go too far, you can always come back and add the bright white. All right, so now I want to start some trees down here. And I'm using my brush. I'm going to grab some more black. I'm just using my lid. And for trees, I'm going to put a few lines just to give myself some ideas of where I would like them to be. I mean, there's one right there, short one there. We'll do one there. Maybe here, who knows? Okay, so see if I can get this a little closer for you. So I'm going to take the edge of my brush and I'm going to gently barely touch it. Then I'm going to come down and barely touch it again. So I'm making these little tiny dots. Can you see that? Good. So now I'm going to gently pull this out and remember to make this a little skinnier than you think you're going to want it. And I'm not banging this. I'm still, I've still got my brush at an angle while I'm tapping it because I don't, I want to keep the beautiful chisel on this. Okay. I'm going to come up and I'm going to fill it out a little bit. And then maybe I come here, I'm doing the same thing. So 
The interesting thing about this is no matter what you do, just try to be consistent. So um, if you're a little bitty dabber, if you're an accountant or an attorney and you just need little tiny check marks, that is fine. Just make sure that you do it. So you'll notice too that my leaves or yeah, my branches are pretty horizontal, but you could if you wanted to do something like this where it's a little more angled. And that's okay too. Just whatever you do, be consistent. And then for me, I'm going to go a little, I'm going to go back to my kind of standard. There we go. And then same, same, same. Now, an interesting thing about trees, you want one that's higher than all of them and you want them sort of staggered. So if you come over here, you'll see this one is this high. This guy is kind of second. I have a couple that are right in this range and then I'll have a few that are smaller, shorter, something like that. Okay, and then this guy, I don't know what I'm doing with that guy. And then over here. And it's okay to give yourself a nice harsh line, um, especially on that edge, and then build out where I'm just pulling from that edge. Okay. Good. Maybe one more. He needs a buddy. Okay. Good. Yay. So now what I want to do is clean my brushes. Actually, I'm going to take this brush. And I'm going to add some teal. And I'm going to make just little bits. Ooh, that's a little much. That's a little much. So I'm going to darken that instead with some blue. And do just a little, maybe that looks like a river. Who knows? Something like that. Can you even see that? Not the best lighting. That's okay. It'll do for now. <laughs> His tail is getting bushier. 
And you know what? If that happens, that's okay. That's totally okay. Like maybe I come out and do one of these numbers. Give him a bushy tail. So I'm going to come in here and, well, maybe I'll add just a little more. I don't, maybe I need to. I can play with these a little bit more. Now, this is just white. My canvas happens to still be wet, but if you wanted to, you could easily put that in with a little bit of purple. So I'm gonna cover a good portion of that up. I just wanted some highlight, not quite that much. Yeah, there we go, get those more rounded. Okay, and that's all up to you, it's all a matter of taste. I actually really like it, so I'm probably gonna leave it. Over here, I do want some highlights. You could come in with some purple highlights just here and there. Not too many. And you could easily do yellow highlights or peach. Just be careful because if you go too much, then it looks like you've gotten rid of your trees and such. Okay. And just put back anything that went too far. Like, I think that went too far a little bit, so that's fine. I'm just grabbing whatever's on my palette, pulling it back in. I really like that. So now, if you want to, you can splatter paint. So let's see if I can do this. This is going to be a little weird, but I'm going to put this, um, basically I'm going to add a little bit of water and smack my brush. Now make sure that when you do this, it is on a flat surface because that way you won't get any drips and you don't necessarily have to use water, but I find that if I don't, I get little chunkies. So, I'm gonna come in, I'm adding some water and I'm pulling it out, pulling it out. And those drippies are no good. So that might be okay though. You'll notice these drippies all have to be gone, but that might be too thick. So I'm gonna smack. See if I like that. Can you see that? And then I'm going to do it down here too. By his feet, especially. And then maybe I'll give him a little tiny. totally fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Okay. I kind of want some purple up there. Ah, 
they got it on my face. And it's only totally fine. It's on my face. Oh well. Okay. And then sign away. And that's it. Bye, guys. Don't forget to sign. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.